so for the proof <coughs> i can take first if a is conservative field then by the theorem i can say that a that is equals to del phi the previous theorem so del cross a that is equals to del cross del phi so that result is equals to zero vector we discussed this previously that del cross del phi is always equals to the zero vector so this condition is proved now conversely i take this result so conversely if del cross i can say a that is equals to zero vector then i can write it as in the uh, determinant form that ijk partial over partial x partial over partial y partial over partial z a1 a2 and a3 that is equals to zero now further is solving this open up this i that is equals to cross multiplication here partial a3 over partial y minus partial a2 over partial z like this i solve i open up this condition here so that result is basically equals to the zero vector so this is the value of the k that result is equals to i can say 0 i plus 0 j plus 0 k now comparing these two uh, sides of the quotient i got this result that partial a3 over partial y minus partial a2 over partial z is equals to 0 and partial a3 i can say that partial a3 over partial x minus partial a1 over partial z that is equals to 0 and partial a2 over partial x minus partial a1 over partial y that is equals to 0 so from 1 2 and 3 question i can say that partial a3 over partial y that is equals to partial a2 over partial z partial a1 over partial z that is equals to partial a3 over partial x and partial a2 over partial x that is equals to partial a1 over partial y so this is the first condition we use these result in our next step so the next step is i can say that so the next step is now we must prove that a that is equals to del phi so i can write it as now line integral a dot dr that is equals to i can say a1 xyz dx plus a2 xyz dy plus a3 xyz dz now for this step is where i can say that c is the path joining these two points x1 y1 z1 and x y2 z so this is the you can say close path joining from this point i can say to this point so the next is we well, let us choose as a particular path the straight line i can say from the line segment <coughs> I can say from x1 y1 z1 to x y1 z1 and from this point to I can say that x y z1 to x y and z I choose this part as you can see in the figure previously so this is the path I am choosing here and I am now find the line integral over these paths so first line integral is over this path second is over this third is over this and fourth is uh, sorry the only three line in, uh, three uh, i can say three points i take line integral over the three points so i can write that equation that phi x y z that is equals to from point x1 i can say y1 z1 to point x y1 and z1 there is some value of the function plus i can say that value from x y1 z1 to x y z1 and from x y z1 to x y z so this is the equation one i can say that so the first point is i can say that along the straight line from point x1 y1 z1 to x y z1 uh, sorry x y1 z1 i can say that here y1 is constant and z1 is constant so dy that is equals to 0 and dz also equals to 0 because y1 that is equals to y and z1 that is equals to z. So here I can say that x varies from x1 to x. So this is the you can say this is the limit in this case. In the second you can say straight line from the point I can say x y1 z1 to x y z1. Here I can say that x is constant and z is also 
constant dx as 0 dy 0 but here y varies from I can say from y1 to y so limit of the second integral is from y1 to y now the third point is along the straight line from the point I can say x1 uh, sorry x y z1 to x y z here x is constant and also y is constant but here in that case z varies so that means z, uh, the limit is from z1 to z now applying these three condition in the above equation one so i can write the equation like phi of x y z that is equals to x1 to x a1 x y z dx plus y1 to y a2 x y z d I can say in dy and a3 xyz I can say dz so here is basically x this is y1 and this is z1 here is x y and z1 and here is x y and z now further is I'm going to solve these uh, three integrals so first what I have to do is I'm going to take the partial derivative of phi with respect to c so i got that result that is equals to a3 x y z now further is i am going to take the partial derivative of phi with respect to i can say with respect to y so that result is basically equals to with respect to y here so that means i am taking the derivative of this with respect to x this term is 0 because there is no I can say uh, no y here here is only x y1 and z1 that means this term is 0 only I have this term so uh, according to uh, sorry by taking the partial derivative of this term I got a2 x y z1 uh, sorry z and plus z1 to partial a3 or partial xyz dz so now further is i am going to solve i can say solve this result here so open up open the line integral of you can say of this term i can say that now further step is in the uh, previous steps where we find the value of the partial a3 or partial y that is equals to partial a2 over partial y so i am putting that value of this one here that is equals to partial a2 over sorry here is the partial z not y this is my mistake so partial a2 over partial i can say z so solving this i got that equation in the form of by putting the limits i got that answer that is a2 x y z so this is the result of the partial phi with respect to y so partial phi with respect to y that is equals to a2 and partial phi with respect to z that is equals to a3 now further is i can say that with respect to i am finding the derivative with respect to x so with respect to x i got these three results so solving this whole term i can say that applying all the limits and uh, that result that i can say that partial a2 over partial x this result is equals to partial a1 over partial y and now further is applying the value of partial a3 over partial x that is equals to partial a1 over partial z i am putting this value here partial a1 over partial z x y z d z so now applying and now applying i can say sorry 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 now applying the limit here open up these limits so i got that result a1 x y z uh, sorry x y1 z1 plus i can say a1 solving this term applying the limits here now open up this term i got these results these equations so that result as a whole is equals to a1 x y and z so that means partial phi over partial x that is equals to a1 and 
partial phi over partial y that is equals to a2 and partial phi over partial z that is equals to a3 now further is putting the value of uh, the value of a1 a2 a3 in this equation that a that is equals to in general a1 i plus a2 j plus a3 k so putting the value of a1 here so that a1 is equals to partial phi over partial x so putting the value of a1 here like as you can see putting the value of a1 that is equals to partial phi over partial x i and a2 that is equals to partial phi over partial y j and a3 that is equals to partial phi over partial z k so i can say that this is basically equals to del phi so this is the result we are uh, we proved here that a that is equals to del phi so i mean uh, this means that a is conservative field so this is the proof of this theorem